Hi, I'm Rob, and we're at Rapcon, and this is Ben Smith, also known as Agent B. Smith. Good to see you again. Uh, yeah, it's been it's a long time since we last chatted. I, be, I was having to see a long time last year with some injuries, so it's really great to get it's back. It's good to have you back. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to ask you, because you're, yeah. you're the photographer who's pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I do travel all over the UK like yeah. a mad hatter, just running, trying to get as many awesome photos as possible with as many yeah. amazing people as possible. So, for people who wonder what it's like to take photographs at a lab, can you tell them a little bit what it's actually like? So it's a, it's a little interesting because I, I am completely self-employed um, okay. with Agent B Smith. So I have the photography side of my business and the Twitch streaming side of my business. Okay. Uh, it started out as being purely Twitch stream and then uh, I got gifted um, a camera by a friend of mine, uh, a YouTuber. Yeah. Um, called DA Games, who essentially was going to get rid of it because he'd upgraded, and I was like, I did a one month course of photography at college. Yeah. I'll take it if you I'll want. I'll take it, it, yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know. And I was like, camera. <laughs> At the time, like the Canon 70D, it was like a yeah. seven, eight hundred quid camera with a lens at the time, so yeah. that was a lot. Yeah. And especially going from college in 2010, a, uh, a Samsung electronic camera with the 70 times zoom where the one yeah. pixel at the end was a potato. Yep. Um, <laughs> And essentially, it just went into like starting doing you know photography events just as a hobby. Like yeah. I started with an event called Erda, which is now sadly defunct. Yeah. And you know I, the photos compared to now were not the greatest because um, yeah. getting used to a DSLR versus the electronic cameras were very different. But as time passed on, you know people wanted more photographers, and there yeah. weren't that many other photographers really in the. No, last and there's team. a definite call now for photographers and people doing media at LARPs. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, you look at, like, especially as you know, more and more LARPs are entering the, the foray, there's more and more events that are starting to clash, so the usual yeah. photographers go to one, leaving this one without and that, such. Um, yeah. Um, 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 every LARP now seems to be desperate to get a good, a good, phot a good photographer in there. Mm. And that makes sense, because it, it, it lets people actually see what, what the experience is like. Yeah, you get, like, the feeling of the events, like, the players, and such just from the images and yeah. you know absolutely you can get many awesome moments love uh, for example i'm very proud and i'll send you this photo afterwards yeah. uh, to show off i'm very proud of one photo from humanity ascendant that i took yep which was a few smoke grenades were thrown as the enemy general was okay. coming out onto the field yep and there's just this really awesome silhouette back shot of the oh. smoke with him like aiming a gun with like a larp safe chain sword on the other side that was nice it was it's the, yeah. like, the header of the uh, group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I definitely look forward to seeing that one. <laughs> I think, so with all that in mind, then... Yeah, yeah. If somebody wanted to get involved in photographing a lab, mm. do you have any advice for them? So... For me personally, I got introduced to LARP and events through a friend. Um, yeah. I started in Huddersfield with a Vampire the Masquerade parlor LARP, which then went into Curious Pastimes. Yeah. And then word of mouth from some people or the um, mm. UK finding a LARP Yeah, uh, and groups. the finding a LARP group is good. Yeah. And of course, your good sales with LARP book, Thank where you. you post up about LARPs um, yeah. that are going on, or people are, of course, advertise their own in LARP book. Yeah. And essentially just mention like a, a post in there of like hey i'm looking to get involved in uh, larp based photography yeah. uh, if is anyone looking for a photographer are you interested and yeah. usually you will get a few messages straight after going more details please Easy. oh yes <laughs> oh yeah um i got very lucky with my first break because mm. we heard uh, it was they were already looking for an event um yeah. a photographer and i just happened to see the post and went yeah sure and it's just spiraled and spiraled from, from there. there so don't be afraid to get that first initial contact going absolutely that's the one that's going to get you going and just showing like again larp is very volunteer led anyway yeah so you will absolutely be getting a lot of people that will the moment that they hear that you're wanting to do photography will just snap in just like yes please yeah because we, we do love volunteers doing we do, we those various it. things, yeah. Okay, oh, that's, that's brilliant, Ben. Well, Ben, thanks so much. Not it's a great problem. meeting up with you again. Good Cheers. Seeing you again. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, um, yep. where can people get hold of your stuff online? Well, if you were potentially interested, there is the Agent B. Smith uh, Twitch. <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and uh, just generally messaging me is the best way to go about contacting me. And 
Just look for Agent B. Smith. Absolutely. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Ben. No problem. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Hey.